Hi, today I want to talk about carbon zinc batteries. They're quite useful, they're cheap. Now, once you use it up, like say for LED lights or some other electronic devices that require uh, AA or uh, D batteries and it's pretty much drained, you can still reuse this or repurpose it for other things. When you take it apart, there's four components that is quite useful. Let me show you the four components and then I'll show you a video on how I tear it apart and where you can extract these uh, components, okay? The first one that you'll get from these uh, carbon zinc batteries is the carbon rod. As you can see here, I got a few of them, okay? Carbon rod, very useful for experiments. We're gonna do that later on. I'll show you what we can do with these carbon rods. Uh, there's the bigger one, like this one, huge one. Look at that, it's gonna be quite useful, right? So we're gonna use that for chemical experiment and some physics experiment. Uh, what else? You get the black powder, the manganese dioxide here, okay? So yeah, that's also very useful in chemistry. Uh, we're gonna do some chemical reaction with this one. Now be careful when you're touching these type of compound, it's kind of uh, dirty and all that stuff and it can stain your skin. So make sure you wear your glove when you uh, do these kind of experiment. The next one is the Zinc, yeah, zinc plate or zinc metal actually. This is uh, from the casing. I got the D battery casing, the zinc and casing. And then here we have another zinc casing from the AA battery. So it's gonna be quite useful for another type of uh, chemical experiment as well. And lastly, the fourth component is the steel plate. Now, a lot of people think uh, this is garbage. It is not a garbage. It's actually quite useful uh, because it's very thin, right? You can uh, make it into a plate like this and the cool thing is if you have like something that's magnetic uh, like for example here I have an LED lights and let me turn this on for a minute so let's say if I want to connect the um, magnets to a plate or something and I can then uh, screw this in somewhere right on a wood or plastic and then here we go this thing will snap in right and then we'll hold the light any position I want so yeah these uh, metal plates can come in handy. So you screw it in into a wood or some kind of plastic, then now you have this metal plate and the um, magnetic LED light will latch on it, okay? So those are the four components. Let me show you the video right now on how to disassemble or tear down these zinc carbon battery or carbon zinc batteries, or sometimes known as the super heavy duty batteries. All right, let's have a look. So we have a carbon zinc battery and uh, the thing I like about this battery is that you can get so much stuff from it right once you use it up right you can actually uh, extract a lot of uh, components from this it's a very cheap battery but yet there's so much in it for example if you can extract carbon rods like this is the bigger one but you get something like this okay that's going to be useful in this experiment. You can get also the zinc plates, like this one here. That, you know, I collect a few of that. Uh, you may even get uh, steel plates as well. And then of course, you will get like manganese dioxide, which can be used in many um, experiment or reaction. Uh, Sometimes I see it as a catalyst, can be used as catalyst. So yeah, so I'm collecting those for experiments relating to catalysts. Uh, so, and you can also use it to make more batteries, right? Chemical experiment in batteries. So, yeah. So let's open this up. Now I notice that there is a, a line here, so you can actually open up this metal plate. But you got to find the opening here. There you go. I found an opening. Right. Once you open it, there we go. See, I, I, I you just yank it like a crowbar like that. And then you grab these and just start rolling and there we go. You got a metal steel plate. That's one thing about high quality brand name uh, zinc carbon battery. They, they actually made a really um, uh, out of very good material. Okay, Most cheaper one would uh, actually surround with paper. This one actually is surround with steel. 
but you can tell the quality built on this. You know, even though you know zinc carbon are cheap batteries, but they're still made, you know, made well. Oh, look at that. Okay. And let's see. You see already, I can see the quality. Look, there's even a plastic on top of that, which is amazing, right? And the other battery that I got, the really cheap one, doesn't even even have the uh, plastic. It only had paper and not even steel. So. Yeah, it does make a uh, different what kind of battery you get um, in terms of quality build. But these manufactured brand name, I really take their time in building uh, these batteries, even though they are cheap batteries, like cheap in terms of cost-wise compared to um, lithium or um, alkaline batteries. Like zinc batteries are, you know, zinc um, carbon batteries are very cheap, but. I think they're very useful. Yeah. But this is well made. I'm impressed. If I were going to get zinc carbon battery, I would probably get Panasonic. It's a uh, pretty well built. Wow. Mm. There we go. Piece of that. Mm. Look at that. Look at there's a that layer of plastic there can be used in a later experiment okay and there I see the the carbon rod okay let's see if I can just yank it out would it be possible without breaking it oh, it's too tight okay so what we're gonna do oh this is a little bit different than I it's kind of pace in here hmm, interesting there's a Kind of like a paste like material. And then we have then we have here um, manganese dioxide. There we go. I'm gonna take it out. There is the black powder here. Black compound. Just go in there and just try to get it out. Oh no, I broke it. I broke my carbon rod. I keep doing that. Hmm. It's very hard to take out a one piece carbon rod. Very hard. Because they're very fragile, they're brittle. So you gotta be careful when you try to do it. Okay, let's see. Got a lot of uh, magnesium dioxide here. Mm. There's the carbon rod. Mm -hmm. I believe this is zinc. 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure this is zinc. The only way to test this is to put in acid and see. Well, it could be aluminum too, but again, you know, can't really say 100%. But I'm not 100% sure. Is this aluminum or zinc? It has to be zinc because it says zinc. <laughs> it's a very nice zinc, though. Wow.